I'm sure everyone has a story to share about cod liver oil, whether it's their grandmother or themselves getting a spoonful of it shoved down their throat every morning. It definitely has a place in more recent history in being fed to children to prevent rickets, which is from vitamin D3 deficiency. And we know cod liver oil is an excellent source of vitamin D as well as the other fat soluble vitamins. In particular, it is very high in vitamin A. It has a decent amount of vitamin K2. It's known to have an excellent omega-3 fatty acid content as well as iodine. Really does have an unusually high nutrient profile in regards to containing a lot of nutrients that are typically deficient in people's diets. In regards to indigenous preparations and tribal history, what they used to do to make cod liver oil is they would take a pot of boiling water, they would lay the cod livers over twigs on top of the pot of boiling water, and the steam would cause the oil to drip from the cod livers, and then they would collect that oil. So there's definitely an aspect of cod liver oil being valued in the past hundreds of years. Uh, I've heard stories of fishermen drinking halibut liver oil on their boats when they go out to sea for its health properties. Definitely one of the healthiest foods you can consume. Now, we know cod liver oil has all of these vitamins, but why are they so important? Well, vitamin A in the form of retinol, the animal form, only really occurs in the liver of the animal in high amounts. And this nutrient is very important for gene expression and cell differentiation, pretty much how every single cell is made in the body. Vitamin A is literally the most important vitamin in general, and the best way to get it is in the preformed animal version from liver. It does have a decent vitamin D content, not nearly as much as you would get from the sun, but it, it's worth mentioning. The omega-3 fatty acids are definitely one of the key selling points to cod liver oil, as most people don't get enough omega-3s in their diet. The vitamin K2 content isn't usually talked about in cod liver oil, but all animal liver does contain vitamin K2. And something that goes under the radar a little bit is the iodine content. A lot of people have a hard time getting iodine in their diet, and cod liver oil having iodine as that kind of extra added nutrient really does make it amazing overall to fix common nutrient deficiencies in people. The reason I like cod liver oil so much is because it has all these nutrients that people are typically missing in their diet. And not only that, the principal nutrients that I talk about when I mention nutrient density and having an overall healthy diet and what actually constitutes a diet being healthy, they are all contained in cod liver. You could literally only eat muscle meat and cod liver and get a complete nutrient profile. The only thing you would additionally need to do for your health is possibly take a vitamin D3 supplement or get some sun exposure. Now, if you wanted to replicate the nutrient content of cod liver in other ways, you would simply have to eat some ruminant animal liver, some beef liver, in addition to some wild caught fish. The nice thing about cod liver is you don't have to combine food sources. Uh, I mean, salmon roe has a higher omega-3 content, but it doesn't have a high vitamin A content. Ruminant animal livers like beef liver might have the vitamin A content, but they certainly don't have nearly as high of an omega-3 fatty acid content. So cod liver oil kind of has the best of both worlds of ruminant liver nutrition as well as fish nutrition. So when people ask me, Frank, do I have to eat liver? Frank, should I take a desiccated liver supplement? It really questions me why more people aren't aware of cod liver oil in general and how amazing of a source of nutrition it is. I actually do have a desiccated liver supplement here because um, I actually asked the supplement company that I have an affiliate with to send me some cod liver oil and some probiotics so I could test them and do a video on them. But they insisted on sending me these desiccated liver capsules. But a friend of mine did some research on desiccated liver and found that the bioavailability of these powders was pretty inconsiderate. And the reason is the process of freeze drying or drying the liver compromises the nutrient bioavailability. Not only that, it being in a powdered protein form, it's much more prone to oxidation and loss of nutrients than oil. And not only that, it's much less concentrated in nutrients than cod liver oil is. So, and I think there's a reason they don't put the nutrient content on this liver powder is because if they actually showed it, it wouldn't be too impressive compared to something like cod liver oil. In regards to cod liver oil, I actually have three products here. I have Rosita liquid and capsule, and then I also have canned cod liver oil. 
The reason I reached out to Perfect Supplements for their Rosita Cod Liver Oil was because it's not carried on other websites. And when I tried this Rosita Cod Liver Oil, it was by far the best one out of all the cod liver oils I've tried. I've had green pasture, blue ice fermented cod liver oil. That stuff is rancid. It gave me cystic acne literally the day I took it. There are a bunch of low quality cod liver oils on the market. I do have a bunch of decent quality ones that are on my Amazon shop. Carlson cod liver oil and some having additives aren't necessarily the best choices, but it's better than not getting any nutrition. Above all of these oil supplements and pill supplements, what I actually recommend is cod livers canned. And this is cod liver in its own juice. This is produced from fresh Icelandic cod liver. I used to actually get this at a, a Russian delicatessen near me, but they stopped carrying it and I was disappointed because this is like $2 a can. So cod liver in its own juice, you know, it essentially just has the same nutrient profile as the cod liver oil, except this is delicious. And guys, I am not exaggerating. Out of all the fish I've tried in a can, tuna, anchovy, sardines, cod liver in its own juice is one of the tastiest things that I personally think comes off of an animal. It's just cod liver and salt and it's amazing how good it tastes. And this is just as good if not better than the cod liver oil. The con to this is it's not raw, it is pasteurized in the can and there is generally concern about the lining of the can and any possible contamination, whether it's BPA, aluminum, whatever you may have it. So that kind of limits your consumption of this to maybe once or twice a week for those concerns. But that being said, if someone introduced cod liver into their diet every day, the benefits of consuming the vitamin A, the vitamin D, the omega-3s, far eclipse any negatives from the lining of the can. Like, to, to use that argument is completely ridiculous considering how nutrient dense this food is. Above all, I recommend canned cod liver as the first option. Uh, my favorite brand that I've tasted is King Oscar canned cod liver. I do have that on my Amazon shop, but you should be able to find it in a local supermarket. Uh, there's other brands of cod liver as well. I found that King Oscar wasn't as salty and they add a little bit of bay leaf to the liver, which gives it a nice flavor. So yeah, cod liver in its own juice is definitely my recommendation. If you guys do want to just buy a bottle of cod liver oil for the ease, this is prohibitively expensive. This is five ounces of cod liver oil, and this is like $50 for a jar of this. So 30 servings of one teaspoon. You could easily blow through three or four of these bottles a month if you're having a tablespoon or two a day. So. Not everyone has, you know, $100 to spend on cod liver oil every month, but if you do want to buy a quality cod liver oil, Rosita is my favorite one. It is on the expensive side. Uh, you guys can go on Perfect Supplements and use my discount code FRANKIEBOY at checkout if you do want to try this. What I recommend actually doing is getting the canned cod liver, seeing how you like it, and maybe even trying the other brands of cod liver oil that I have on my shop and just in general that are out there and see how you respond to them. Because at the end of the day, what you're getting is a high vitamin A, D3, K2, omega-3, and iodine content. What differentiates you consuming canned cod liver from cod liver oil that's expensive versus cod liver oil that's cheap is any possible contaminants, any possible oxidation, any possible histamine reactions from the fish oil being oxidized. So there's a bunch of pros and cons depending on how much you want to spend and which products you want to get that might affect people differently. Uh, you know, for me, the blue ice pasture cod liver oil, I got really bad acne from that and I don't want to buy like Carlson cod liver oil that has a bunch of additives to it. There are some slightly cheaper and more affordable versions of cod liver oil, but just in itself, this is such an easy food to incorporate to add complete nutrient density from your diet. In regards to dosage of cod liver oil, we're actually shooting for nutrients. So for vitamin A, we want about 20,000 IU per day max, which would be about two tablespoons of cod liver oil. If you were to measure the amount of vitamin D3, that's about 2,000 IU. So 20,000 IU vitamin A, 2000 IU vitamin D3, and then we're getting 
maybe six grams of omega-3 fatty acids, very high amount of DHA and EPA. Uh, the iodine content varies between bottles and so does the vitamin K2 content. But those are some general principles to follow. I recommend adding in maybe 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 per day in conjunction with the cod liver oil. So as I said, for the liquid measurement, that's about two tablespoons. For the capsules, that tends to be quite a bit. For the cans, I'm assuming one can of cod liver per day would be what you want to shoot for. But as with everything, guys, you know, start with a small amount, see how you respond to it, see how you feel, and experiment with different amounts at different frequencies. That's just kind of like a baseline guidance for the maximum amount of cod liver you would want to consume per day, being the equivalent to 20,000 IU of vitamin A worth of cod liver. So if you guys are looking to increase the nutrient density of your diet, I mean, any of you Sean Baker ribeye grain-fed steak all day people, all you got to do is take a few cod liver oil pills and you should essentially see the benefits of what a nutrient-dense diet would entail. Maybe additionally you want to take a vitamin D3 supplement in conjunction with that, but Anyone who says, oh, you don't need to eat organ meats, blah, 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 it doesn't require a lot of effort to take a little bit of cod liver oil every day and get some sun. And people complain all day about not including high quality off cuts or high vitamin animal foods in their diet. Some people insist that they're not important, but literally all you're doing is taking a few cod liver oil capsules and a few vitamin D3 pills to achieve your nutrient density. So by all means, guys, do not feel the need to buy these products on my Amazon shop. Do not go to Perfect Supplements. You don't have to buy these products from my links or anything. I'm just saying that if you guys do want to buy these products, you can support me a little bit. I don't really make much money from my Amazon shop and then I don't really make a lot of money from Perfect Supplements either. But if you do want to try canned cod liver and you can't find it nearby, maybe buy it on my Amazon shop. As I said, I like the King Oscar. If you guys do want to try the Rosita, you can go to perfectsupplements.com via my affiliate link in the description. You can use the code FRANKYBOY to get a 10% discount and let me know how you guys like it. Uh, outside of that, I do have a bunch of other cod liver oil products as well as the vitamin D3 products on my Amazon shop. If you guys do have any products you'd like to recommend to me, I can add them to the shop, whatever you'd like. Uh, I also have some salts on there and some other miscellaneous products I use in my day-to-day -day life. If you guys do want to check out, uh, I did launch my hygiene products recently on my website, frank-stefano.com, some deodorant, tooth powder, uh, moisturizer, lip balm. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe I'll give some away if you guys want to post some silly comments on my video. Uh, maybe I'll give away some packages to the most upvoted comments. But as always, thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys would like to reach out to me for consultations in regards to overall health, incorporating nutrient density in your diet, starting a raw diet, maybe even how to do a healthy vegan diet, shoot me an email, frankatofinal at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website.